What is going on guys, today we are back. It is Thursday, October 10th, and tomorrow <laughs> we're driving this thing all the way down to Moab, Utah. We're gonna do it all in one day. We're gonna leave tomorrow at 4 a.m. All right, it's about four o'clock. We're just finally packing up the rest of everything. Gonna go out and start the truck right now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the road. Now, Tim Hortons doesn't have the greatest coffee in the world, but it's certainly a first stop must for any Canadian going on a road trip. And we are entering the States. One hour into the road trip. Try to catch me howling at the moon. All right, we are in Butte, Montana. Um, this is our first stop for food. Uh, we're quite the few hours in now. We got uh, nine hours, 50 minutes left on our trip to Moab and uh, yeah, food and gas. <laughs> We are inching our way through Salt Lake. <laughs> it is terrible. When the sun rises, when the sun. And <laughs> we're in Moab. Uh, we got in a little late last night, it was dark. Uh, we wouldn't be able to see anything, so I wouldn't be able to show you anything anyways. But yeah, camp is pretty awesome. We got here, um, Ethan for Grind Hard Plumbing's over there. They've already, they were already set up. They got here earlier before we did. And uh, yeah, check out camp. We just did our shopping and uh, got camp all set up and we worked about half the day today. So for the first day, we're gonna go find a little trail, something that only took a couple hours to do and uh, yeah, finish this video off. Hey, I just wanna take a second to thank our sponsor for the Moab videos, Alpine Toyota. If you're in the market for a newer used vehicle, please check them out first, www.alpinetoyota.com. And back to Moab. Well, so much for an easy first day. The trail we chose was pickle mashed potatoes.
On the jalapeno, I opted for the bypass because it looked like I would for sure get body damage from this. In some ways, the bypass looks scarier than the actual route because if you screw up, you fall off the cliff. With the sun going down, we decided to stop at this point and watch the moon come up. It was incredibly beautiful, but we would later discover that this may have not been the best option. We arrived at a very steep and technical downhill section on this trail. We had to turn our headlights off just so our spotters can see where our tires are so they can properly guide us down this steep slope. Putting complete faith in our spotter's hands, we made it down the slope. If there's anything to take away from this whole video, is you don't need a fancy tow rig and trailer to wheel your old Toyota in Moab, Utah. We had to drive by old Toyota pickup over 18 hours to get here, and it survived. So, drive your junk. <laughs> It'll probably make it, but I mean, yours might be different. Mine's pretty well maintained, and I was confident that it would make it all the way down there. And it did, and I could still go wheeling. Anyways, guys, if you like this stuff, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe. There's a whole lot more Moab stuff coming down, and uh, it's going to be awesome. Anyways, guys, see you in the next one. Peace.